Okay, I know I'm gonna sound like a broken record now, but around two weeks ago or so, I got an email from Viltrox and they wanted me to review a product. Seems like I've been getting quite a lot of emails from companies lately asking me to review their products. But hey, honestly speaking, I ain't complaining. And they said they would like to send me an RGB light over to me to review. So being a fan of anything that involves RGB lights, I of course said, sure, send it over. So here it is, I will be reviewing this light by Viltrox. The Wii Light RB9. Full disclosure, Filtrox did say I can keep this light. However, they didn't tell me what to say in this review. So I am free to say whatever I want to say about this light. And I definitely will. All right, so first let's talk about the build quality of this light. This light is constructed fully out of metal. And again, with most products within this price range, I suspect that it is made out of aluminum. It feels really well made and all the buttons too feel really well made. I would say it definitely doesn't feel cheaply constructed and it didn't feel like something that would break that easily if you accidentally dropped it on the floor. All in all, I would say the build quality is really good and yeah, I don't have any complaints about it. Okay, so now that the build quality is out of the way, now let's look at the specs of this light. We'll first go over to see what it comes with in the box. So in the box, it comes with the light panel, of course, with a diffuser to diffuse the light, a light stand, which also has a retractable grip to hold your phone. Should you want to use this light as a selfie light while you are using your phone for vlogging or anything like that. And a cold shoe mount adapter for mounting the light on the light stand or any other cold shoe you would like to place the light on. It also comes with this very nice soft material pouch too, to put all those accessories in. However, do note that not everything fits in the pouch. So if you do have the diffuser on the light, you can't fit the light with the diffuser on. You have to leave the diffuser out. So it's one or the other. So yeah, I do find that a bit of a bummer. They should have really made the pouch a little bit bigger, but it's not a deal breaker in my opinion. Oh, also they did include this USB type C cable for charging. Okay, now let's go through the specs briefly. The RB9 is a full RGB light. It's capable of producing up to 36,000 different colors of light. This light also has the ability to adjust color temperatures from 2500 kelvins to 8500 kelvins. It comes with 29 different lighting effects which include some of the very popular ones like police car, fire, rainbow and fireworks just to name a few. The light itself can be controlled directly via the buttons on the side of the light or via the app through Bluetooth. Like most of these lights it comes with a built-in battery. This light comes with an internal 3000 MEH battery which can be charged over USB-C. Charging takes around three and a half hours to fully charge and the battery lasts around two hours in full brightness at 100%. At full brightness, this light is rated to be around 1350 lux at half a meter away. So it's definitely way more brighter than the Aperture MC RGB light, which is rated around 450 lux only at half a meter away in full brightness. Okay, so now let's talk about the usability and experience using this light. So far, I must say that the light is not bad and generally it's not too difficult to use. However, my main gripe with this light is that I feel the buttons on the light to toggle from different modes and different lighting settings wasn't immediately the smoothest of experiences, to be really honest. It was somewhat fiddly and after using it for a while, I definitely can say I prefer the button wheel that is on the Aperture RGB light more for changing settings and toggling through menus and it was way more intuitive and smoother in my experience. However, that being said, fortunately this light does come with an app and the app is definitely way easier to use compared to the buttons on the light. In terms of features I would have loved to see on this light was definitely the missing magnets on the back of the light. I mean, that is so useful. I love my aperture light because I can mount it on anything that's metallic. So that does actually help a lot. And this light doesn't come with anything like that. So yeah, that's a bit of a shame that they didn't put any magnets at the back of the light. Also would have been great too that this light also had a color pick feature on the app to pick and choose what color you want to match the light to based on what color you pick from the camera uh, just like the aperture light but it doesn't have that feature so yeah it's kind of a shame that it didn't do the same thing. I guess where this light really shines against the aperture light is in terms of its brightness. This light packs a punch compared to the aperture light when it comes to brightness. Anyway here's a comparison between them both. 
Oh, also another thing that was really useful that this light did include is the ability to use it as a power bank. And in my opinion, it is quite useful indeed because it wouldn't mean you wouldn't need to bring along a dedicated power bank for those emergency moments when you do need to charge your phone or something. Okay, so what's my conclusion after using this light for a bit now? Who do I think should really get this light? Well, to me, this light is really a handy light to have around, especially because of its brightness. I find if there's one main reason I would get this light over the aperture, it would definitely be due to the brighter output that this light is able to produce. The other thing that I wish that this light did have is a magnetic back, because there's definitely times that I do feel a magnetic back is way more useful to have, because there are times that I don't really want to use a stand, and I just want to stick it onto a metallic surface, and I do find that really useful with the aperture light. And the other thing I wish that this light did have is a wheel to toggle through the menu instead of just buttons, because I don't find it that intuitive using the buttons and it was a bit fiddly so yeah changing settings was really kind of slow because you had to go through each button at a time and it wasn't the sort of smooth scrolling through kind of concept that is used in the aperture light but yeah that being said it's definitely not a deal break in my opinion i still do find that this light is great and also the fact that it's only 10 bucks more to get that much brighter of a light i think it's definitely well worth the money right so that's it then i hope you did find this short review helpful and if you did please don't forget to give me a like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you do feel like supporting this channel by making a small contribution, I have also left a link to my buy me a coffee. I've also left links to all the gears that I use to make these videos. Right then, see you guys in the next video. Peace.